Right, the aim of today's lesson is to explain all about how radioactivity is used um, in everyday life. We're going to be looking at um, uranium fission and how it happens in nuclear power stations. And what we're going to have a look at now is uranium-235 atom is a really special atom. You're going to enjoy this, guys. Um, the uranium-235 atom isn't really made of chocolate, but ours is. So when a uranium-235 atom splits, or we call it fission, then we think the whole thing is actually going to completely split, but there's a catch. Sometimes it splits by itself, sometimes it doesn't. To make it actually split, what you really need is a slow-moving neutron. Neutron comes in, bashes into the atom, splits the uranium-235. It splits and the fission fragments, sometimes krypton, sometimes something else, whiz off in opposite directions, high kinetic energy, come back to that later. But the trick is, they leave off three extra neutrons. And those neutrons are going to whiz off. Each one is going to hit into another uranium atom. Okay? The uranium-235 fissions or splits, it splits and the energy, it's kinetic energy and massive whizzes off everywhere. It splits, releases three more neutrons. The neutrons are going to hit another uranium-235. Splits, releases neutrons. Splits, releases neutrons. Splits, releases neutrons. You're getting the idea. Every time you have one, splits, releases three more neutrons. Three more. Okay. Now we're actually going to have one split three. Three, it's going to split nine. Nine split into 27, releasing neutrons. You've got these fission fragments going off high speed in all directions, straight into students' mouths, but in reality, whizzing off at high speed. So you're going to get a huge amount of waste by the time you've actually finished this. Now you've got neutrons all over the place. This chain reaction gets bigger and bigger and bigger, multiplying by three every time, but we don't want it to turn into a nuclear bomb. So, we can put down control rods. Control rods will mop up the neutrons. They act like sponges. The sponges, the further you put these down, the control rods into here, the more they mop up the neutrons, mop up the neutrons, you stop the fission, slow down the reaction. If your control rods are moved out, neutrons carry on, massive fission reaction. Um, so, two really important points here. One, you can control a reaction. Okay. If you don't control it, then you get an avalanche of effect, you get a, what we call a chain reaction, you can hardly stop it. Now at the moment we've got a um, problem in the nuclear reactors in Japan, probably the control rods not functioning, etc. So we have a problem. And the best bit about this experiment is we have edible nuclear fission product. Mm -mm. 